everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, my name is Rainbow Bright. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm such a dork. Uh, anyway, my name is Sarah Walsh. <laughs> See, this is why I do these videos. I have so much fun and I don't have a lot of fun otherwise. I'm sad to say life is not so fun anymore. But, um, you know, I do my best. I try. I'm trying. And so that's why I'm here. I'm here to have some fun with you guys. I hope you enjoy uh, this reading, whatever messages come out. Hopefully they're helpful, useful, whatever. Um, yeah. So, well, here, I'll start shuffling while I'm talking because otherwise, because this just takes so long. Let's just start with these. Okay. So, I already pre-shuffled pre the decks and cleared the energy of the cards. In case you're wondering, which probably not, but now you know anyway. Okay. Um, so yeah, my last video, if you watched it, um, I was very excited. Spirit was giving me exciting messages. The cards were giving me the same exciting message that, you know, for the Lionsgate period and going into 5D and I was all excited. And then, hmm, you know, kind of a... Sorry, you know, I'm like obsessed with my hair. Um, anyway. A lot of big energies that came through, but uh, nothing really changed in the world or in my life. So, still here. Still here, making videos for all of us. So anyway, I hope you're doing well. I hope you um, have been handling these energies um, well, I feel like I can't talk. I'm not good with words anymore. Words, like words, words just don't really make sense to me anymore. I don't know what that's about, but anyway. So yeah, I was just guided to do all these rainbow, rainbow background and then like, like my rainbow shovel thing. All right, we got three cards here. Interesting. Okay. I'll show them to you when I'm done. Like I always do, we'll get all the cards out and then I'll show them all to you. Trying to make the shuffling not take so long. <laughs> but I can't really control it. No, don't do that. Just want one more. We already got two. Just need one more of these, please. No, still no. I'm not taking more than one. I'm putting my foot down on this one, spirit. Thank you. Like, where am I? Where am I? What duck am I on? I don't know. So, yeah, so today, okay, so what I was going to say is today is the, um, considered a blue moon in Aquarius, and it's not the second full moon in the same month. That's what the traditional, um, definition of a blue moon is, but this one is even more rare. I feel like it should have a special name. Oh, I should have got that card out. I should have got the blue moon card from the Moonology deck out, but I did not think of that until right now, so sorry I don't have that for you, but, um... But this is even more rare, so I feel like it should have its own special name, like Silver Moon or something, but it doesn't. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'll just call it a blue moon because it's the second full moon in the same sign in a row, which I've been following the moon cycles. I don't really like put much credence in them anymore, too much, but, but I have been following the moon cycles for about three years. And I will say I've never seen a full moon in the same sign twice in a row like this in th the last three years. I don't think it's happened, but unless it happened and I didn't realize it. Hmm. Um, so anyway, and when I realized that this morning, I made a post on Facebook about it and then Spirit said, oh yeah, do a card reading. I was like, all right. I already recorded 
two videos that I've been meaning to upload here. One with the Easter message from Jesus, and the other one was just me. Um, I posted on Facebook of me sending, just sending love. No, I don't want to watch that many. Just want one more of these again. I don't want to get too many cards. So, yes. So technically, I guess it's considered a blue moon in Aquarius, full moon today. Today is August 22nd. It's a Sunday. And where I live, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. So when I'm done doing this, when I upload my video, it takes, it depends, but it usually takes hours to upload one of these videos to YouTube. So when this video is uploading, I'm going to go out in my backyard and sit in my hammock with my bare feet on the ground, listening to some music and soaking up some sun because it's a, it's like perfect weather today. Perfect, perfect weather. I don't know what the temperature is, but I think it's in the low 70s and sunny. And low humidity, it seems like. Not totally sure. It's amazing, anyway. So I'm going to take full advantage of it. So by the time you see this video, well, I might still be sitting in my hammock, but probably not. Whoa. This, oh, the emperor flipped over, completely over, into the deck and went back into the deck. So I took it out. Because I'm getting a lot of masculine energy here with these tarot cards. So far, interesting. These kind of colors go together. Interesting. Sorry, I'm mumbling again. Trying not to do that, but I'm not very good at remembering. I just get very, when I'm doing these readings, I just start channeling the messages and I don't really think of anything. I can't think of anything, otherwise I can't channel. I have to turn my brain off. It's on the bottom. Is that the Ace of Swords? Okay, one more deck. And then we'll get into the cards. Uh-oh, there's the tower. <laughs> Hang on, guys, the tower just came out. Good. Let it burn, let it fall. I'm ready, are you ready? Are you ready for this? I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm just channeling things out of my mouth. <laughs> Apparently we got something to get ready for though, but uh, after the last message and they're like, oh yeah, you're going to 5D. <laughs> Lionsgate portal, gateway, blah, blah, blah. And I did not find myself in the fifth dimension yet. Still here, and I consider this the fourth dimension. No, I think it's humanity and the earth has ascended enough that we're, I would say we're more in the fourth dimension, which is weird, right? Because it's the, it's the in-between. This is the flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. And in the last reading, I got the flamingo card in the wisdom of the oracle deck, and that has a flamingo, and it says between worlds. So those two cards are like very, Similar, but anyway, and that always reminded me of like, we're in between the 3D and the 5D. We're like kind of, we're stuck. We're still kind of stuck, but I think uh, whatever was keeping us stuck has been removed. And, is that three? Oh yeah, okay. I don't like that card. <laughs> the Ten of Swords. Pretend like I didn't see that one. Um, um okay. And now I have so many cards, they don't even fit on here. Okay, now I will, I'm not sure about the shawl thing, but I wanted to cover my arms. I don't really like my upper arms, you guys. So, Mystical Shaman Oracle, number 22, The Ghost Dance.
Number 47, The Smoky Mirror. I did paint my nails for you guys this time. <laughs> I know you don't care. Um, number 45, The Seer. And as always, feel free to get your own messages from these cards. If you look at a card and you get a message, just or something comes in comes to mind right away or whatever, then that might be a message for you. Um, and then this is the Spirit Animal Oracle. Is that what it's called? I think. Um, number thirty nine, Moth Spirit, surrender now. This card with the red is reminding me of the root chakra. So maybe people need to work on their root chakra. That's If you're having some anxiety, um, it's good to work on the root chakra, do meditations for the root chakra. Um, the root chakra is red, so wearing red clothes, looking at the color red. Um, I have these chakra glasses that I wear sometimes, and they're different colors. So if I was to work on the chakra glasses, I would wear the red ones. I just saw 11-11. And I feel like I see it all the time now when I make these videos. I didn't used to. But anyway... So yeah, root chakra. If you're having anxiety, work on the root chakra. You need ground. Um, some stones that are good for that. Red jasper. Any stone that's red. And the black stones are good too. Um, especially like black tourmaline. I often recommend. It's very powerful. My younger son, Elliot, really responds a lot to black tourmaline. Um, hematite, which is like a silver color and um, smoky quartz all those are all good stones for grounding if you need help with grounding and working on your root chakra okay number 26 flamingo spirit this one I already showed you embrace the in-between and number 61 turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace And then the Wisdom of the Oracle, we have number 32, Here and Now. Watch it. These are the ones that are hard to see. They're so shiny, and the pictures are kind of very intricate. Number 40, Co-Create. I'm not sure I've ever even seen this card. <laughs> Interesting. So I've had this deck for a long time, and I don't, you know, I've used it quite often on these readings, and I use it sometimes just on my own. Number 33, chaos and conflict. Uh-oh. And we have the tower. Ooh, okay. So that's not such a great message, is it? But it must be done. The chaos and conflict must come to usher in the new age. And from the Light Seer's Tarot, the Emperor, which is a major arcana, number four in the major arcana. And then these two cards, like similar colors, right? And they're right, on, this one is right above this one in my when I laid them out. So yeah, like root chakra, masculines, like, and then this, and then the next one is the king of cups. So yeah, like the two masculines here. So I'm just, a lot of masculine energy. So the king of cups, I guess I could show that a little bit more. He's got the water crown like the queen of cups has. Oh, this has an orange starfish. It's funny, I changed my background. It was the ocean one for a while. <laughs> I just didn't want to change it for a while. It has a little orange starfish down at the bottom. but And this card would have matched that background. But Spirit wanted me to put the rainbow up and be rainbow bright today. So, And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles usually um, indicates working hard, diligently, working on a project or work, working on something like work or like job, career, whatever. And then this is just the traditional Rider weight tarot. We got a made two major arcanas from here. What is this? 14. Number 14, Temperance. I don't know why I have such a hard time reading Roman numerals now. I never used to, but my, as I mentioned in a previous video, my brain has been missing for a year and a half. So I think sometimes it's hard. Um, temperance is, um, I don't want to say about temperance. It can be about like balancing. It can be can um, indicate balancing the uh, masculine, feminine energies. It can be about divine timing, waiting for like the timing to be just right, for waiting for this angel to get the pour the mix just right or whatever. I don't know. I don't really know why that angel is pouring water back 
from one cup to another. Anyway, um, and then this is number 16, Major Arcana, the tower. And this usually means some big shakeup. Some big shakeup in your life or in the world. Or both. So, and, and again, I'm drawn to the chaos and conflict card with that. I don't know what's coming, but buckle up. <laughs> when Leo season started, um, Spirit wanted me to make a Facebook post and tell, I did make a Facebook post about Leo season starting, but I didn't put what, Spirit wanted me to put buckle up bitches in the, in the Facebook post. And I was like, I'm not putting that on Facebook. Anyway, so I didn't put it, but now I'm, they're reminding me of that again, so. <laughs> buckle up. Um, and then we have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands usually means a victory. See, if he's, he's wearing the laurel wreath on his head and he's got the laurel wreath. Or, yeah, I think that's a laurel wreath too up there. Victory. It's making me think of a parade because he's kind of like, I think he's supposed to be like in a parade, kind of like he's coming, returning back from the battle or something and he's victorious and like everyone's gathered around like a parade kind of a thing. So I don't know if somebody's going to a parade or... <laughs> if you're going to, if you went to a parade recently or you're going to one, let me know in the comments because I've never gotten parade from this card before. Um, I just don't really have room here for these cards. All right. <clears throat> I need to be able to see the cards. We'll do that. You can kind of see some of them still, huh? And for some reason, I needed to have this in the background. My, I'll show you. I made that for my business. Um, early on when I had my business open heart healing is my business which is also my YouTube channel name um, anyway I made that for a poster board thing and I kept it because it was hard work and I liked it but um, for some reason I wanted to be part of the reading but you can't really see it so I don't know the point but you just saw it now so that's good here and now and I just said now now surrender now Surrender now, here and now. So a lot of now. So, um, of course, that's going to tell me that it's important to remember to stay in the present moment. If you need to return to the present moment, just take some nice deep breaths into your heart space and focus on your heart and just breathe. That'll bring you right into the present moment. That's the what I call the zero point also, which is the um, point of all possibilities in all creation so if you're looking to create something manifest something or whatever it's important to stay in the present moment and in the zero point to um, be in that field I guess Okay, so I said the temperance card can mean divine timing. This card, this emperor, he's just chilling and he's holding the chess piece. Is that the king? I kind of know how to play chess, but not clearly not that well. <laughs> I think that's the king. And he's holding it like, so, which tell me, to me it tells me like checkmate, right? Like this guy, he knows that he's going to win the chess game, the chess match. But he's just has to sit back and wait because he has to wait for the time to be right. He has to wait for divine timing in order to make the final chess move to win the game or, or whatever. Hmm. So it just hasn't been quite the right time yet. <laughs> I hate when the cards stick to me. 
but that's um yeah so never noticed he's got the tattoo the symbol the you say ankh the egyptian symbol does that mean life don't i don't know <laughs> i guess that's maybe what it means um but that always reminds me of like the feminine because it kind of looks like this the symbol for women so this is like the divine masculine The divine masculine has to accept the feminine in order for the time to be right. And again, I'm going to pick up this card with this card. And this, I don't know how to keep this thing on me. Okay. Um, so something about... And this too, I said, right? I said, um, sometimes it makes me think of balancing masculine, feminine energies. So I'm getting that like the masculines are needing to embrace their feminine within themselves, their, their feminine side maybe, welcome their feminine side um, and allow their feminine side to be present within themselves. and to honor the divine feminine um which is within our own hearts all of us and also you know externally being drawn to the number 22 and 33 but I don't know why master numbers it's so hard for me to sit on the floor I have to keep telling myself to sit up straight don't slouch Someone's playing music all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. I feel like some background music going. All right, what else do we have here? Chaos and conflict in the tower. This feels messy. This feels messy. This feels obviously chaotic, tumultuous. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like shifting around. Maybe people are gonna start moving different places or something. It's gonna be time to get going to move to like, this, I mean, this, this card, she's, she's kind of, she's wearing like one of those striped, colorful striped blanket things, shawl, poncho things on her. And it's reminding me of my, of my shawl. Is this me? She's hazy. She's hard to see. Even though she's got all these colors, you can, and the colors are kind of showing up the brightest, but she's kind of hard to see. She's almost like she's disappearing. Disappearing into the mist. Hmm. So with the ghost dance, and I was saying she's like disappearing into the mist, kind of like hidden by the mist, and then you have the smoky mirror. And then the seer, which would indicate seeing clearly. These two cards are together are to me indicating not being able to see clearly. But this one would be seeing clearly. And now all of a sudden the song, um, I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. is <laughs> coming to mind. And because that rainbow in the background, there's a, a YouTube video that I saved of that song. And the, the background of the lyrics is a, a rainbow that looks like this, kind of. And then, stop that. 
<laughs> so it bothers me. I have put lotion on after my shower, and so now the cards don't want to stick to my arms. Anyway, so this is indicating like it's been hard to see, or everything's been kind of hazy, hard to see, like hidden, obscured. They're saying obscured. Everything like things have been obscured, and we haven't been able to see clearly, but now we can see clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Hmm. It's time to be able to see, I guess. See things the way they really are. To see the truth. Hmm. There's just so many cards here. I don't know why I had to pick so many cards, but... Oh, Co-create. This is telling me we need to... We need to start coming together to to create things together. So instead of working alone or just being alone in our own places, doing our thing on our own, it's time to start joining together. And my nose is itching like crazy, which tells me someone's thinking of me. Okay. Um, so yeah, co-create co-create with other like-minded individuals. So collaborations that may be in the works or coming up might almost be time to start coming together. I That makes sense to me. I think I've seen a lot of us just doing our own thing for the last couple of years um, and not, and things not really going anywhere. Uh, most of the light workers that I know like have tried in the last couple of years to be doing their own business or, or whatever and um, I'm seeing a lot of just things kind of going nowhere um, I've experienced that myself a lot in the last couple of years I finally just a while ago I don't know when that but I finally just gave up trying <laughs> it's like never mind I guess I can't I can't get anything to work right now it's not it's not time it's not the divine timing yet so this is kind of indicating to me that now it is time it's time to start working um, and we need to join together because we can only accomplish it together like we can't I think the reason why maybe things aren't going places for people, and this isn't everyone, obviously, some of you have lots of stuff going on, um, but I guess I'm speaking to the, those of us who have tried to get things going and nothing seems to really stick or work, um, is that we need to do it together, not, not separately on our own. We need to like collaborate, um, make communities, joint endeavors, I'm hearing. So, yeah, if anyone wants to work with me, let me know. <laughs> I don't even know what work I can do anymore. But maybe you know. Maybe you know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, go ahead and tell me. <laughs> I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> I just exist now. I feel kind of useless. But that's all right. As long as I keep putting out that love energy. I'm being useful. That's why I have to tell myself that. Because <laughs> I, I can't do a lot of physical stuff. Because my, um, maybe I mentioned this on a video. I know I mentioned how my mind left. But what happened is a year and a half ago, my masculine energy, my inner masculine energy, just took off. <laughs> just like left. Left me and I was like just completely in my feminine. And I'm like, well, this is not helpful because the masculine energy is the doing energy the productive energy um like being able to do like 3d physical world tasks strength and stamina right and um also your mental mental capacity is, is your masculine energy i discovered because i lost lost my mind my mind left my masculine energy so anyway it was interesting that i worked um pretty hard to get to a place where my masculine and my feminine energy within myself was like pretty balanced and good and then as soon as it was like as soon as I got there it was like boom my masculine took off and um yeah so I wasn't I mean then COVID hit so that was kind of good timing because like my I couldn't work my job anyway but even if I could have like I couldn't like I, I just I can't even explain it to you like I've always been I'm a Capricorn Capricorns are hard workers we are all about work and money and status and things like that and um not that I've like been all about money and status really, but I've always been a hard worker anyway. And I've been able to always been able to work hard. And all of a sudden I found myself like I can't work at all. So 
Um, anyway, that's been interesting. But recently, um, in meditation, spirit did tell me that my masculine energy was his own entity, which was a surprise to me. Um, and that he actually still existed and he was in the 5D preparing preparing the way for the feminine to come. So, And that he was going to come back soon to get me and bring me there. So um, that's what I was told. And that kind of blew my mind. I was like, wow. And then I was like, oh, yeah. My, if anybody can get shit done, it's my, mas it's my masculine energy. I can get shit done. Like, well, now I can't. I can't. Here. <laughs> but... But when I had my masculine energy, I could get shit done. Like, that, I can get shit done and I can work. But, like, now it's been such an interesting experience to have lost that or whatever. And now I can't work. Can't use my brain. I'm, like, sitting here going, I'm kind of screwed. Like, I kind of need my masculine energy to come back. But they told me it was coming back. So I guess I'm still just kind of waiting for that. But And they did recently, too. I'm sorry, I'm just blab blabbing. Um, but they did recently tell me to start drinking coffee again. I had been guided to stop drinking coffee about seven months ago. And then they, Spirit told me, start drinking coffee again because coffee is like artificial masculine energy. Like, it make, right? You can think and you can do. You can do the things and you can use your brain when you drink the coffee, right? So I started drinking coffee again. It does seem to be helping. It was like, today I worked out even. It's like, wow. I guess you go, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a productive day. I drank coffee and worked out and made a video. <laughs> but anyway, I don't even know why I'm telling you all that, but it must be relevant in some way or somebody needs to hear that. Maybe someone else is going through kind of a similar experience or something or I don't know. But anyway, I've been hanging out without uh, any masculine energy for a year and a half and I'm, I'm about done with that. About, I'm like, I need my masculine. And... Here he is. Here's my masculine, I guess. <laughs> so I don't know if this is just, is this just for me? Or is this for other people? Um, I don't know if you've been kind of lacking your masculine energy. Um, which they want me to tell you that can also be your sex drive is your masculine energy. Um, so if you've been lacking in that department, maybe it's about to come back or, you know, I don't know. Um, victory. We will have our victory. Victory will be ours. It is guaranteed. We're guaranteed victory. It's just, a, now it's just a waiting game. Waiting game. All right. You are here. Yeah, this card clearly definitely means that. I mean, I've never read the book on, I don't really read the books for these, for any of these cards, but this, it, you know, the here and now card, and she's got a flag that says you are here, and then there's a sign that says past, and a sign that says future, and then she's like, just right there, so present moment it's important to stay mindful and to stay in the present moment like I said that's the zero point the place where all possibilities exist and that's how, where you create from it's like being in the flow state kind of I think Again, the co-creation, I re they're reiterating this message, I guess. We have this cheetah or whatever it is, and this owl. This cheetah's like looking out in the distance. And the owl kind of is too. But it's, I'm getting the message like they need to uh, join forces. They need to come together and work together. Like this one's just sitting here and this one, they're both just sitting there looking, waiting. And this, um, it's giving me the message that they need to, okay, put your, put your gifts together 
and join forces. Okay, that's enough of that message. <laughs> I'm like, don't need to keep saying the same thing, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I say, I feel like I say this every reading now, but I'm getting strong with um, meditate. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Somebody out there should be meditating and isn't because I keep getting this message to tell you. Maybe, maybe it's me. I mean, I do meditate though, but maybe I need to meditate more. I really could. Meditation is very good for you. It's, and it's also good for helping you to be mindful and to stay in the present moment when you're not meditating. Like when you practice meditation and you get a feeling for that, you get a feel for, for what it's like to be in the zero point. Then you can kind of return to that throughout your day. When you're doing other things, you can still kind of come back to that zero point in your heart. So, anything else? The tower is just staring at me. Tower. The crown and the crown. So many crowns on these cards. This happened the other time, too. Crown. Crown chakra epiphany. Maybe someone's gonna have an epiphany soon of some kind and it's gonna you're gonna go, Oh, I know what to do now. Or I know who I'm supposed to work with, or I know what my mission is, or I know what I need to do. I need to move. I need to do this kind of work. I need to contact this person, whatever, something like that. I feel like it's going to happen. If you have an epiphany or something like that where you're like, you should follow it, you should listen to it, definitely. I mean, I always give the advice, listen to your intuition, but um, with this message, it's, I don't know if somebody is going to get an epiphany and then question it or doubt it or kind of overthink it and be like overanalyzing or being like, oh, that doesn't make, really make any sense or... I don't know if I really want to do that or that's scary or something like that, but I guess I'm here to tell you, do it. Whatever it is, whatever your guidance you're getting to do something, you should definitely go for it and do it. The time is right and victory will be yours. So yeah, that's good. Embrace the in-between. We're still in that like in-between, I guess, but I feel like, I do feel the energy that like I said, things that were holding us back, that were obscuring our vision or keeping us stuck. Um, the blocks have been removed now or whatever, so now we can go, ha go ahead and move forward and things will actually progress for us now, which is good. Full moon, moon cycles, this has the moon cycles on it. And she's got a candle, so I'm, I'm, and because today is the full moon in Aquarius, if you're watching this today, especially, but, yeah, I mean, anytime, but uh, maybe you could do, like, a full moon ritual of some kind, or just lighting a candle and setting some kind of intention, um, you know, traditionally full moons are the good time to release things that no longer serve you, and the new moons are better for, ma like, manifesting and calling in things, so you have to clear things out with the full moon to make space for new things to come in with the new moon is kind of usually how it's um, looked at. So maybe doing a ritual to release anything that no longer serves you, writing it down on a paper and burning the paper or just writing it down on paper. You don't have to burn it if you don't want to. Lighting a candle and just yeah, setting an intention, saying affirmations, saying a prayer or something like that would be a good thing to do today. So if you have any full moon rituals that you do or that you're going to do, let me know in the comments. Um, dipping, the, dipping a toe in the water. This angel is literally dipping his toe in the water. So... Just dip your toe in the water. If there's something that you've been wanting to try or being guided to do or thinking about doing, this is saying like, you don't have to jump all in. Like, 
right away. You don't have to jump in and just... They're saying go balls to the wall and I hate that saying. <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> they know I don't like that saying. I don't know why I don't like it, but whatever. Oh, anyway, that's what they're telling me though. Like, you don't have to go balls to the wall. You can just dip your toe in the water. <laughs> you can just, you know, test the water a little bit. Just dip your toe in and just like do one little, one little thing towards your goal or towards what it is you're wanting to do. Just tr take the very, very first step, a little baby step. Try that. Try the little baby step and see how it feels. And yeah, you can, you don't have to go like all out. You can just test the water first. That's that message. The give with gratitude and grace turkey spirit. I don't really know what that card. Every other card I think I've pretty much gotten some kind of message from. And except that card. So what I do when I don't get a message from a card is I hold the card up and I look at it. And I say turkey spirit. Number 61. Breaks down to a seven in numerology. Seven turkey. turkey maybe somebody's spirit animal is a turkey or does a turkey mean something to somebody maybe somebody's going to see a turkey and it's going to give you a message or something <laughs> i don't know yeah i just get like spirit animals or like animal messengers or whatever um yesterday maybe some of you saw if you're facebook friends with me i had a bunny this little bunny that lives in my yard hopped out from underneath the little deck area when I was sitting in my hammock and um maybe I'll see him today again unless he's been eaten by something um anyway this little <laughs> that was weird this little bunny hopped out and immediately spirit said start taking a video and I was like okay so I started taking a video and the bunny hopped directly over like to me and stopped like three feet away from me and sat there eating the clovers in front and I don't know if that bunny either saw me and just knew my energy was safe or that whatever and liked my energy and wanted to come over or I almost feel like that bunny like couldn't even see me which is weird because I towards the end of the video I even started talking to him and I moved and it's like he had to have known I, he was literally like right there he had to see me <laughs> he had to know I was there but anyway um where was I going with that Oh, just like an animal messenger, I guess. But it was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool experience. Like, wild bunnies don't usually come close to you, you know? And this little guy, he's like so little. He's like a baby still, I think. Or else he's just a little dwarf kind of bunny. Um, but, and then, I don't know I'm talking about this, but then about an hour after I had that experience where I got the bunny on video and put it on Facebook, I watched a card reading from my favorite card reader. Her name is San. Her ter her channel is called San Tarot, S A N, and then Tarot. She's amazing. She reads cards like I've never seen anybody read cards like her really. And I wish I could read like she does. But anyway, her I was reading the one for, I was watching the ones that she posted yesterday, which was Scorpio, which my moon is Scorpio. So I, I I sometimes just watch all of her videos because she's so good, and I like to just see how she gets what kind of messages she gets from her cards because it's so amazing. But anyway, this one was, and the whole reading was all about like, oh, I, like there's an animal coming by you and maybe you're like in your garden and the, and the animal comes by you. <laughs> I'm listening to this reading and my jaw is like drops and I'm like, are you, are you kidding me? Like she's, she's exactly describing the experience that I just had outside in my yard with my with that bunny in this card reading and I was like and then uh anyway I thought that was so amazing but like nobody else thought it was cool or like nobody cared <laughs> that's all right I just want somebody to care you know I just want someone to share the magic with but there just seems to be nobody interested in the magic that happens around me that much it's okay. I'll just appreciate it on my own. I always appreciate the magic. Um, anyway, this reading is very long now, so um, see if there's anything else. Triangle. Triangle. There's a triangle. Triangle. Trinity. All right. 
yesterday I was thinking about the Trinity. And I said, you know, when I learned about the Trinity, I went to Catholic high school. So we had religion classes and we learned about, the, I remember learning about the Trinity in high school. And I remember the teacher basically saying like, we don't really, I don't know. I just what I remember from it was like, we don't really know what the Trinity really is. <laughs> it's kind of always like the bottom line. And it was kind of like, well, that's kind of dumb. Shouldn't we know? Somebody have figured out. I'm, then that's the thing too. Somebody has to have figured out. Anyway, so I asked my team, uh, who's primarily Jesus and Mother Mary, but you know, I just ask in general and get general kind of response. I don't necessarily get, sometimes I get specific responses from specific entities, but um, anyway, that doesn't matter. I asked, what is the Trinity? And they told me that the Trinity is Mother God, Father God, and the human. So Jesus, like Jesus was the human, right? So the Son, the... So the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, right, is traditionally how we would think of the, tr the Trinity. And, and um, the Holy Spirit actually originally was considered feminine. I wrote a paper on this in, for religion class in high school once. Um, so the Holy Spirit was, was originally considered feminine, but that was kind of wiped out, you know, by the church. But so it would have been like the Father, the masculine, the, the Son, which is Jesus, which is the human, and then the Holy Spirit, which would be the feminine. So uh, anyway, they told me that the Trinity is Mother, Father, God, and the human. So it's about the balancing the masculine and the feminine, which I'm, we're getting a lot of that in this reading. So um, yeah, so God is both masculine and feminine equally. And um, and then when it joined they join with the human in the sacred heart is the trinity like creates the trinity energy or container or something like that so i guess i was supposed to tell you guys <laughs> tell you guys that too anyway i'm gonna stop babbling and um this is now gonna take hours to upload because it's so long but anyway it's fine that's fine i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got at least one message that was useful or interesting to you in some way um, leave a comment if there's anything that you can think of to say. I always love to read the comments, and I don't get a lot of comments, but, and, uh, I'm just grateful for anybody who watches my videos. I'm just grateful for everybody, but, um, for, so thank you for spending this time with me and taking the time to support me and watch my videos, and I love you all, and, um, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.